A lot of people associate powered paragliding with the injuries of parachuting. The difference between a paraglider and parachuting is parachutists have their injuries because the parachute has to open from being co completely collapsed. A paraglider has to be open before you ever get off the ground. Safety's in the wing, not in the motor. <clears throat> also, if you were to have a collapse, remember the ram air, air is coming in and can't get out. It's pressurized. If you get a collapse, now this side's unpressurized. There's holes in the ridges in between the set in the cells, the holes in the ridges. So as in air now increases incoming even faster, more pressurized this side, it wants to come out. It blows out into the deflated side and it inflates. Although the wings are rated to open from any collapse instantly without pilot input, and collapses are extremely rare with level flight and less induced by the pilot as shown here for fun, there are separate reserve clinics and or maneuvers clinics that can be taken to be able to correctly recover from any collapse and to correctly throw out the reserve chute by hand. Look out. Damn it. Oh, yeah. Back. That's much better. See, you went the full length of that. Has there ever been injuries? Sure. There have been incidences with paragliders mostly, largely because, one, they don't have the wing to weight ratio. Us paramotorers like to fly at the heavier end of the weight rating for the wing. Uh, provides a more maneuverable wing and less, less likely to collapse. It's a more loaded wing, pressurized. It has a higher weight load. It's got more pressure on the wing. Also, we have the ability to still climb. They rely largely on a small weight load for the wing to give better glideability and lift. It makes for a less inflated wing, more prone to ruffles and collapses. Also, paragliders fly around mountains and valleys where they have rotor winds. Uh, most of the paragliding injuries happen when they launch up a hill, they have a collapse from a rotor, and they get swung back around into the cliff. Paramotoring, again, has a heavier weight to wing ratio. It's a more loaded wing. Also, the angle, while we're, when we're motor off, we're paragliding. When motor on, we have more scoop. Provides an even more firmer, safer wing. It's important here that you not get the wrong idea that paragliding itself is unsafe. It's probably the safest thing to be in the air with, but paramotoring is statistically and inherently even safer still. Although again, you mustn't get the wrong idea that you can't get hurt or even killed doing either. It is possible and you must always respect it as such.